Hello, this is Dominic for CreateIndieGames.com. Welcome to the last part of this tutorial on how to create puzzle games with Game Maker Studio. In this part, we're going to discuss how to add more levels to the game, and we will add a button that allows you to jump to the next level. So let's go ahead and go to our rooms and create a new room. I set snap X and snap Y to 64 and adjust the height to 640 as well. Then change the background color to blue and let's start adding some walls. So go to the objects tab, select the object wall. Uh, now I'm holding down control and shift to add multiple objects while dragging with a mouse and game maker seems to have crashed here now it keeps working okay fine so let's go ahead and quickly create this level here delete 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 one more there, some more there, and I think that's it for the walls, so let's place some pellets and maybe a little bit piece of wall here, and the crates of course, or boxes, whatever you want to call them, and the player and the controller we need as well of course, object controller. And that's it for our new level. Let's rename this to room level two. And let's drag this up a little bit so it's it comes right after level one. Next thing we need to add is some sprites for the buttons. So go ahead, create sprite, load sprite and go to the menu folder, next puzzle and replay. Those are the two sprites that we need. SPR next puzzle and the other one is going to be the replay sprite, SPR underscore replay. And then we also need two objects for them. So I'm going to call this one object underscore replay. using the replay sprite and I'm going to add another object called object next puzzle which will use the next puzzle sprite of course and now we can go ahead and add those two objects to to the puzzle solved room replay and let's place it here it's roughly in the middle will be good enough for now and this one as well just place it somewhere in the center and that's almost it um, we still need to implement the logic for those two buttons uh, but before we do that i would like to add a creation code to those other levels and we will use some room creation code to set two global variables called current room and next room so go to settings creation code and then let's set global current room to this one room level one and global next room is gonna be room level two and you can just copy this and paste it into the creation code of the second level. Go to settings, creation code, paste it, and of course you have to adjust this to level two and this one here to level one. So the next level after the last level, of course, is the first level again. Okay. And we can actually copy this as well and reuse it in the action for the replay object. So for replay at an event, mouse left button and then just go to control and 
uh, add an execute script action and write room go to global current room. This will restart the current room, restart the current or current level rather. Did I call it room or level? I'm not sure. We'll see. Let me check. Let me check quickly. I called it current room and next room. Okay. So that's correct. And we also have to adjust the action of the next puzzle object. Add event, mouse, left button. Go to control again. Execute code and paste it. And jump to the next level. And of course this has to be next room rather than current room. And I think that's it. So let's see, I'm going to try to solve this puzzle again very, very quickly, just like before, push some boxes around, and now I click on next puzzle because I want to solve the next one. And I do believe that we have a bug here where we can actually... No, no bug. Okay. Well, anyway, that's it for this part of the tutorial. Thanks for watching.